Hey kids, Miss Becca here. Welcome back to another week of lessons. Last month, we talked about the New Testament. We talked about Jesus, his coming, and his cousin, John the Baptist. This month of August, we have a brand new series on the Ten Commandments. Some of you, I'm sure, know about the Ten Commandments. Maybe you've seen uh, a couple movies, the Ten Commandments movie, or you've seen um, The Prince of Egypt. You kind of know about Moses and how he was directed by God to deliver the Ten Commandments to the Israelites. Well, this month we're going to talk about um, each of the commandments that God gave to the Israelites to follow and talk about how important they are and how they still apply today. Today's lesson is going to be for both Hope Zone and Upper Room kids. So Hope Zoners, if you've got an older sibling who's in Upper Room and would like to you know, watch a church lesson, go ahead and grab them, have them sit down with you, and they can participate in watching this video, all right? Um, also, go ahead and grab a Bible because we'll be reading together from the book of Exodus um, the Ten Commandments. We're gonna be learning about four of them specifically, okay? So everybody young and old has rules to follow, rules that tell us what we can do and what we can't do, rules that help us make good choices and they help us know what's right and what's wrong. In the Old Testament, God gives us a very special set of rules. In the Old Testament, God gives us a very special set of rules. These rules are called the Ten Commandments, and they are God's instructions for living a happy life. Today we're going to look at the first four commandments. These words may be a little bit hard to understand while you read them, but if you listen, you'll see that all four rules are telling us the same thing. So go ahead and grab your Bible and flip to the book of Exodus. It's in the Old Testament. It's the second book in the Bible, so really close to the beginning. We'll be reading from chapter 20, verses 1 through 11. So go ahead and pause the video while you find the passage, okay? As I read, I'll hold up my fingers so you know which commandment we're on. We'll be talking about four of them. That's why we're not going to read all of the entire Ten Commandments passage, okay? So if you'd like to follow along, I'll get started. The Ten Commandments. And God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven, above, or on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the fathers to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations for those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor, it means work, and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your manservant, or your maidservant, basically any servant, nor your animals, nor your alien, which means someone that is from another land, uh, within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Remember creation in the book of Genesis? It took him six days to make, and on the seventh day he rested. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. That's a lot of instructions for four rules, isn't it? But these four rules can be combined into one big rule, love God. God wants us to love him. He wants us to love him more than anything, more than your Game Boy, your Xbox, or your brand new box of, I don't know, coloring equipment, more than your bike or your clothing. He wants us to be respectful to him, and he wants us to keep the day that we go to church special. God is our creator. He loves us, and he's given us every good thing so that we would love him in return. Now you know that the first four can be combined into just one. The most important commandment is to love God. I hope that was a good lesson for you guys today and that you enjoyed learning about the first four commandments. Over the month, we'll be talking about the rest of the commandments. So don't worry if you're wondering um, why we didn't touch on all 10 commandments. We'll be learning them piece by piece so it's easy, easier for you guys to learn and to remember them, okay? Church is open again. We're holding services Wednesday and Sunday mornings. Um, you can wear a mask if you want. You're not required to, but we would love to see you guys come back again and um, participate in all the cool stuff we have planned for you guys. We're also in a new room for Hope Zone, in case you couldn't tell by the wall behind me. Um, we'd love for you guys to come and see the room too, all right? As always, I'm 
praying for each and every one of you that you're always safe and healthy, and I can't wait to see you guys again, okay? Bye. I love you all.